All right, guys, this is Mike with Mike W Productions. I just wanted to let you guys know, do not attempt what I'm about to do at home, because in this video, I'm going to be playing with fire, quite literally. If you're under the age of 18, don't play with fire without an adult. If you're over 18, we'll take the responsibility for your own actions. Don't play with fire unless you know what you're doing. Hey, guys, I'm Mike with Mike W Productions. And today we are going to be doing fire starters. So, um, flints. These guys. So, if you guys like that, I know I did some uh, nature videos. I did some how-tos on YouTube. Go ahead and go watch those if you like those videos. Give them a thumbs up, thumbs down. Write me a comment. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I like to do. And... I found these two things and I want to do a review on them so hopefully you guys will like that uh, that concept for this part of the video. Uh, it does actually go with my nature stuff because you take these things out into you know out into nature all the time and so I wanted to do show you guys these products before we jump into the actual video. So what I got here is some duct tape, a little bit of wood chips and those are going to help me out in the video you'll see that in a little bit so I'm going to put those guys over there got me a quarter I'm rich finally YouTube rich it is about a quarter because I'm not sponsored because this video is not sponsored by either one of these brands or YouTube because I don't have enough likes follows and um, what is that? Uh, yeah, the amount of people who've watched my video yet. So, that's why I need you guys to go and like, share, comment, and uh, give me a little follow. Hit that notification bell, too. So, moving on. Uh, what you get here is I have the Harbor Freight Flint, Flint Rod. And it's a striker. It has teeth on one end and a blank side on the other, so you can flake off your magnesium and you can, let me see if I can get a spark. So, that's cool. So it works, you know it works. All right, and that's pretty much what you get and it runs for about it's under five dollars. Sometimes you get a coupon and they're like a dollar. Um, they run maybe up to three dollars, four dollars with with uh, tax, depending on your tax bracket and your state, of course. But they're relatively cheap. Watch the video and you know figure out if if it works for you. On the other side, I have this guy, and it is. This one is $35. This is a Pure Fire Tactical, and you can find these guys on purefiretactical.com or go look down in the description and I'll have the link for these guys in the bottom part of the either the tag or in the um, description part for you. So if you guys like what you see in the video, go get yourself one of these. Now he also ha he has one like this. This is the $35 one. It comes with the, um, the flint striker and a magnesium bar. Uh, the thing that makes him different than these guys is if you wear out your bar and your flint to a certain degree, it's a lifetime guarantee. So if you wear this guy out and this guy out down to like the nub, you can send it back and he'll send you a new one. It's on his website. So uh, this one, if you wear out either side, you go to the store and you buy a new one. And that's a bonus for this guy. Also, because this is literally all you get, I'm going to spend some time on, on the uh, Pure Fire, uh, Pure Fire Tactical striker here, which has, as you can see, I just pulled that out, a little hidden compartment here, and it just pops on, boom, 
you don't even have to hit it that hard. It just sits on. It's not gonna. Your stuff's not gonna fall out. You can put this in your pocket, your side pocket. Put it in your back pocket. Don't suggest that you sit on it because you might break the rod. So you get this little hidden compartment here. And what he did was he gave, and this comes on his website too. You get a little piece of tinderwood. And it smells really good, guys. Like I would just burn this in the house. Like, but it goes up real quick so if you scrape enough down and get into a little pile you strike it it'll flame up but i'm going to do another video because right now i'm just doing the the striker and the magnesium because that's all you get with those guys so i'm going to put this guy over here and i'm kind of cheating because i'm using the the wood clippings so it's kind of an even field because i don't want to use this guy for both of these guys because i want to see how it works for both also in here, put this guy down, you get one of these guys, it's a striker, just like the competitor, but what you don't get with the competitor is one piece of wood, the hidden compartment, you get this guy, but you don't get this. Now this is a game changer, and the I was talking to the owner, and he says, this is a game changer, and I believe him, and this is why I use that same kind of tactic on uh, the video with my own thing uh, just to be fair and I did it for both so if you watch the video I did it for both but it comes with a little piece of tape and a bunch of the uh, magnesium uh, strips so instead of you having to sit there and strip out a bunch of magnesium you got this little bundle and what's so great about it because uh, so great about it is that in windy conditions the magnesium is so light it just flies around right but if it's duct taped to a small strip of duct tape and this unwinds this you can unbundle this it ain't going to go pretty much nowhere it can get wet and it's not going to stop it from firing i'll put that little guy back put my oh so good they should just they, they should just sell these things as as just a thing by itself as you know a scent but put that guy back in there and boom so this guy is thirty five dollars on um, purifiertactical.com again if you get it down to the nubs on both on both sides you got to get it down to the nubs on both sides of the the striker and the magnesium. Uh, he'll return it, but it's a lifetime guarantee. So that's a great deal. Um, Thirty-five bucks. He has one that's also a pocket knife style. One where the flint, uh, where the flint and the magnesium rod fold over, and you get about the same. I would say it's about the same, and it folds over. And then it has a little metal compartment um, that it folds into, but the striker has a little magnet that you can sit your striker onto, and it's a really strong magnet, so you ain't gonna lose it if you accidentally fling it or it drops or whatever. It's gonna stay on there, so that's a even better deal. Um, and that one's a little bit cheaper. I think that one's about 30 bucks. You can go on, on there and, and see because, again, the prices are about to change. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to jump you guys into the next part of the video where we uh, test these guys out. So, here we go. So, what I'm going to do is I have Harbor Freight here and PFT for, your, for Pure Fire Tactical. And what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna do about, just about a quarter size, pile up on these little pieces of duct tape, and that's because, again, it's breezy outside and I don't want them to fly around, so I'm gonna put this little quarter down here so you can see them both as I do them. And because I know that I've always had trouble with getting enough of the flint off of the Harbor Freight brand, I'm gonna use it first and I might fast forward 
but I'll put a timer on the bottom so you can see how long it actually takes me to do it. And I'm going to do it the way that I use the purifier tactical, which is using the flat end, not the sharp end, and scraping it like this. So, see how long it takes me to get a good amount of uh, flint on, or magnesium on this piece of duct tape and I have a quarter here to show you guys just how much uh, I get on this thing so I'm gonna move you guys over here uh, probably above me so you guys can see how long it takes so alright so as you guys can see I moved you over here so you guys can see this I have the Harbor Freight I have my little quarter I got my flint and magnesium rod so you can see there's a sharp side here and a flat side here and I'm just going to use that flat side and if I get bored I'll use the, the other side. When you're using the other, the pure uh, fire one, make sure you don't use the, e the teeth, make sure you use the flat side. So that's how I'm going to do it because that's how they do it and let's see how long this takes us. So timer. That's about, that's about right. So there's our Harbor Freight. And you see how long that took you? How long that took me? And now it's not going to go anywhere because it's stuck to the duct tape. So let's put this guy right over here. I'm going to take the Pure Fire Tactical. I'm going to put this little, whoops, guy over here, put this guy here. So you want to take your, your striker, flat end, don't use the teeth because the teeth will just dig into it, but use the flat end, do a good degree angle here, hold your, your flint stick and just peel. See that? Already got a good peel there. Look how much neater that is compared. It's all over the place and this is in a nice neat little section here. It's not quite a quarter, but I'll say that's maybe do a little bit more so I can give this the full benefit, full benefit of the doubt here. Now you don't want to put your hands, you want to run your, your hand not the way of the blades, because <laughs> you don't want to cut yourself if you accidentally slip. So, of those little saw teeth. So, again, just take your thumb, push down, and slide. See, it's just crisping off on there. Getting those curly cues. As you can see, if you're watching this on the timer,
it ain't even taken me that long to do a little pile here. Let's see what we got there. We got a little bit of that extra there. There we go. See, they get a nice little curly cue. Fold them up. Do a little... I'm just doing this so I can focus it right where I want it. Okay. That's about even, I would say. And if you look at the timer, I'm going to assume that this took me a lot less to do this than it did this. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and we're going to test this out. So, here we go. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk a little bit louder because I'm outdoors and I don't know if you can actually hear me or not. But I got the Harbor Freight and the Pure Fire Tactical here. Harbor Freight here. It's a little bit breezy as I told you. So I'm going to try and make this quick. Got my little grill here. And I got both the products and I got some extra sticks in, uh, if this one burns off all those guys. And I got my wood chippies here. So I'm going to start off with the Harbor Freight one. And just so you guys can see, it is the Harbor Freight, okay? That's going to go right down in here. I'm going to put a stick, a couple sticks right across it to help it out. So if it does catch anything, let me grab a big, bigger one, there we go. If it does start firing... Maybe we'll get some of these twiggies set up. And I'm going to get some of my shavings. I'm going to take a pinch. Pretty decent sized pinch here. We'll put that right next to the fire here. I'm actually going to put it on the duct tape. Too, so if it sparks it, it'll set that off. Alright. So I'm going to move you guys over right on top of this thing so you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. I'm going to take the Harbor Freight guy, striker, and their striker. I'm going to do it like every other guy. Just boom. See how long it takes me to... get this going. Now again, I am not a survivalist. So, my point is, just to show you, Everyday Joe, no offense if your name is Joe, now I'm not having a good time striking it this way, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the teeth end here now. There we go. And that helps me actually get it's burning something. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Mm. <laughs> that came up and bit me. Ah. Came back up and there we go. It's on fire now. There we go. It's going to burn up that stuff. So start burning. There we go. See? I'll put some of these guys over here. Maybe it'll get that lit up. Some of these wood chips in there. See? There it goes. And that is the Harbor Freight light flint didn't take too long and it's still going because these little wood chips I got going here didn't mean to put that out but hey wanted to put these guys on it they'll start burning that up so that's cool so you do get a fire out of it, just 
takes you a little bit. So let's blow this guy out. Fire's all done. No heat. Just proven no heat there. And this is now the pure fire tactical. As you can see, I did not add any more or any less to this. It's going to go right down in there. I'm going to do the same thing. Do a little, let's find a slightly smaller stick. Go across, just like that. Just in case I get a good catch. Go across, just like that. Should have put because I'm left-handed, I should have put it towards me instead of the fold. So let's do that. That towards me. There we go. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to put these little stickies across. Just in case something catches. It'll catch those guys. Now I'm going to put... About the same amount, just a pinch. It's moving around a little bit, but say that's about the same. Right next to it, just like we did the other one. Do a slight pinch more, just like the other one. Just so it has something to catch when it does catch. Now, with this one, there's there's always a bit of a trick with these guys. Just like the other one, you want to use the teeth in, but this one, you actually don't. And you're probably wondering, well, why don't you want to use that teeth end? Well, because you're just going to start digging into it, and that ain't going to be good. So, because you're going to start digging into this flint, let me check the camera, make sure that you guys are still recording here. Good. Okay. So, don't use the teeth side with this guy because you're just going to start eating away at it and you're not going to get, you're just going to start eating away at your flint rod. That's not going to do you any good. So just, oh, oh, you got to, <laughs> got to lighten one spark, dude. Put that right there. Boom, you got a spark. All right, guys, so you saw how fast this piece got lit up. Now I want to show you guys how to do this the right way because I didn't do it the right way, but you can do it the duct tape way, and I just went inside and got some more flint. I just scraped it off, put it on a piece of duct tape here. And so now that I know how fast this is going to go up, I'm going to put it right on top of it get my little pinch again but instead of putting it next to it I'm gonna put it right on top because it's gonna flare up and I'm gonna give it there we go alright and I left the rod inside I'll be right back alright so I went back in and I had to get my striker. And now that I know how fast this thing's gonna go up, I'm gonna put these pieces all really close. So that way, when it sparks up and starts burning, there'll be something to burn. But proof of concept, that went up pretty quick compared to the other guy. Getting a little smoke, it's catching something. You want to get in there pretty close, but not too close that it sparks up on you. Of course, if you're a weekend warrior, there we go. Now it's burning, there it goes, burning the, it's going to start burning that wood. Let 
And I got a little bit more wood over here because I like fires. So that's how you do it, guys. It'll start, see it smoking. It'll start lighting these guys up here in a second. But again, Pure Fire Tactical and Harbor Freight. You be the judge, you uh, pick which one you'd rather take out with you on your weekend warrior or your your time out there in the woods or even if you want to just put this in a drawer for a time when the power goes out it works so you be the judge you pick which one you want but if you like this guy purefiretactical.com all right all right thank you guys for uh joining me today and uh go ahead if you like what you see this is actually hot uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and give the video a like and a share. Maybe uh, drop a comment. Again, I am not a uh, outdoorsman, tactical person. I don't hike all that much. I go to the local park and walk around in the woods. That's about it. I don't camp. So, and I was able to do this. Alright guys, so again, give us a like and a follow. Share, comment. Do your thing. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me again. Peace. Alright guys, so I have... I'm going to start this one too. A bonus round at the end of this video for you. And I'm going to show you what this thing does at the end of when you get a whip. So if you don't have it wet, it's just going to burn nice and slow. But if you get it wet, then it's going to do something amazing. So I'm going to scrape some of this guys off. And see, it just scrapes right off. You just put a little bit of thumb pressure on it. Hit it on a back angle. Don't eat it out because you're going to eat your, your finger here. Just slide it. And man, that is so easy to get off. And then just pile it up as you go along. If you don't think you got enough, you probably do, but you can do it fast if you like. I'm doing it on this little pan because I don't feel like burning up my grandma's uh, countertop here. <laughs> So you get a lot of that right there, a lot of that dust. I'm going to put that all over here. Turn that for you guys. You'll be watching right here. And get every little bit. Now what he usually does at the shows is he'll get a little bit wet. So there's some water. Now what this does is if it's dry it'll typically burn slow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this, I'm going to wipe this off. And for you guys over, for you guys I just wiped off the, the striker here. Now it's wet. Okay. I'm going to take your flint. Make sure you're a little bit away because this is going to be a big fly out. So, And there you go. And there you go. There you go. The bigger the pile, the more the the flare. And there's your little bonus video for you guys so go ahead and give it a like and a share like I said before thank you guys for watching and I will see you again hopefully pretty soon peace